Hi everyone, it's Mary Blocker with Mary's Stampin' Cafe and welcome to my recorded video. I am so happy that I uncovered a stash of wonderful crafting stamping supplies. I don't know if you remember, but Stampin' Up! had the wonderful Forever Gold laser cut specialty paper, which had these fabulous decorative rectangles and other golden accents. And, you know, we all have those kinds of things. I also found um, part of a combo pack, previous uh, beautiful ribbon, gold edged, love it. And then, you know, paper pumpkin and other things, you get all these fun little embellishments and, you know, they tend to pile up and you're like, wow, I need to use those. And of course, you never want to get rid of your wonderful punches. This was from a, a previous punch pack, I believe. And it's, you know, always comes in handy. Well, <laughs> excuse me. So since I was cleaning out and finding some great treasures, I thought this is a perfect card that's going to be for a card swap that I'm doing for a uh, crafting weekend. And I'm so excited about that. So, you know, pull out all of your stash of great things and think about those wonderful cards that you could make for friends and family. Um, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate that. Now, what I have today is a piece of thick, very vanilla, cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. That's our standard A2 size card. And then I have a panel that is a five and a quarter by four that I embossed with the time worn embossing folder. Now, one of the reasons why I do this is I do not like to emboss on my base of cardstock. I find that when you do an embossing folder, it kind of makes the cardstock a little thinner feeling, or maybe it breaks the fibers a little bit. And so I want the weight of my base to stay heavy, but also I don't like to see all the embossing on the inside flap. I would prefer that our eyes focus here on the wonderful sentiments, right? So I like to do a panel that matches the size of the front, five and a quarter by four and a quarter, or you can do like a five, um, five, five and a quarter by four. Sorry, that was five and a half for the full size. The other thing is we're gonna glue this down and you can see all that beautiful embossing on the back, but you can see it has all sorts of nooks and crannies. So I always, if I have an embossed folder that I've used, I will use the multi-purpose liquid glue. That glue is going to hold better because it gets down in those nooks and crannies, but also it gives me that little bit of time to move things to make sure things are lined up well and you're not going to lose any of that beautifully embossed parts of cardstock. If you're using a tape runner, you might be pushing down hard and you might go ahead and flatten some of those beautiful embossed things. It's a great time-worn 3D embossing folder. So easy peasy, right? So now I have a piece of Mossy Meadow cut at three and a half by five. It's beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. I'm also using my multi-purpose liquid glue here because this flat panel needs to adhere to all those bumpies from the embossed folder. And the glue again will seep down into those nooks and crannies and be fabulous. It'll hold it so, so very well. Also gives me that time to shift and move things a little bit to make sure I am even. There we are. So, beautiful coloring. All right, now here's that next thing. These beautiful Forever Gold um, laser cut specialty papers. What's really beautiful about them, some are so finely detailed, thin lined, and how in the world do I then adhere this down to my card? <clears throat> um, there's not an adhesive sheet on the back. It's not really going to be very good to use your mono adhesive liquid glue to get in there. Um, you're going to make kind of a mess. The fine tip glue is also available, but again, that's another thing that might seep out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. 
because the silicon mat is a clean up. It's beautiful. And I'm going to put a nice blob of that mono uh, multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm going to grab an old stamp and sponge. And I am going to just pick that up, lay the mask down, and now I'm going to pat. I need a little bit more. The sponge really soaks up that liquid glue. So I want to make sure I'm getting some coverage. So now I'm not getting sticky on my stamping paper background, but I am getting the mono liquid glue <laughs> all on here. Now when I pick this up, I'll move that aside. And when that dries on my silicone mat, it's going to peel right off for easy cleanup. So then we're going to go ahead and lay that down. And there we are. It is glued in place, and I have no stickies on my hands. It's a great, great way to adhere down some of your intricate dyes or specialty papers like this. And now, as you can see that, I don't know if you can see, you see the glue that's on there? When that's all dried up, that will just peel right off, and your silicone mat will be great to use for your next crafting project. Well, I hope you're enjoying this so far. If you are, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to share my video. That would be fantastic. Now, I have Wishing You Everything Wonderful, and let me tell you where I got that from. This is the Charming Sentiment stamp set, and it is fabulous. It has sentiments for all sorts of occasions, um, babies and congratulations, birthdays, good luck, um, grateful, everything will be okay, thank you. I mean, just fantastic. Combination of for your sentiment on the outside of your card as well as the inside. The other thing about the Charming Sentiments is it comes in a bundle with the sentiment silhouette dies because when you stamp and use your coordinating die you get like a shadow or or cut closely around the whole sentiment it's a very big trend that is happening and it's fabulous what I really love about this is you can go ahead and make a template with all of these um, lay it all out, stamp them all, and then die cut them one time going through your machine, and you will have a whole bunch of all of these sentiments. So it is really great. I can't wait to create more things with this. So for this card, you can see I have that sentiment, but I did not use the coordinating dies because I just felt it was too, a little small for my card here. Um, but it's fabulous on other projects but I wanted this one to be larger front and center so what I used for that is the um, lights a glow dies these here these are in the July to December mini catalog and it's these are beautiful um, they do all of these peekaboo through when you die cut it's just it's fabulous so I use this die right here to die cut out the sentiment just wanted something a bit larger and pronounced and that's going to be going right here in the center now you notice I talked about this little punch right here this little four uh, four leaf flower um, I guess you could call it also a um, four leaf clover if you wanted to that would be fun and what I did is I cut out a whole bunch of them in the gold to go ahead and use and so we're going to use that I'm going to use a little of that multi-purpose liquid glue I'm using a lot of my liquid glue today <clears throat> if you don't have the multi-purpose liquid glue you need it it is a fabulous adhesive and that's going to go right there the other thing are my little leftover pearls from some kit or some uh, something that I had there and that's going to go in the center of that flower so how cute is that and then we'll go ahead and get our dimensionals I'm doing this card for a card swap for a crafting retreat I'm not sure if I said that 
But when you have leftovers of some stamping products and they are just kind of there, not sure what to do with them. Oh, I don't want to lay that down yet because we have this wonderful, oh, gold edged ribbon. So I'm just going to do a little accent of the ribbon. Now this is where I want to be very careful. I want to do just a little bit of the stamp and seal there so that it can hold my little loop down. So here's my here's my small piece of ribbon. Then I'm just going to lay it down and tuck it right there. Now let's bring this in and see where that's going to lay. That's going to lay just like so. And I think I want this to be up a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is just lift this up carefully. We don't want to rip the um, gold foil. And just have it come up a little bit more. Now I am ready to put this down right center. Oftentimes I don't do things right in the center, but this card really spoke to having it right in the center. Isn't that beautiful? That gold foil laser cut is just fabulous. That's one of the designs there. So let's go ahead and open up and do the inside of our card. I'm going to use the matching, matching sentiment here. It says, wishing you everything wonderful because you totally deserve it. So I have Mossy Meadow ink. I'm gonna ink that up well all over the stamp pad, right in the center. Because you totally deserve it. And then I have a little accent here from Fancy Phrases stamp set. This beautiful little one right here with the little couple of flowers and leaves. So we're going to stamp that on the inside as well. Right there. Beautiful, because you totally deserve it. Wishing you everything wonderful. Well, I tell you, it is so great to have these beautiful products that are already created for you because that just created a stunning, stunning card. Let me show you, I have a couple of more that I've done with the laser cut and you can see the different laser cut foil pieces and it is just beautiful. Now you could create some beautiful holiday cards with these laser cut um, specialty papers if you have them because you could do a congratulations as well. This could be a beautiful wedding card. Here's another one for you. Just another piece of that foil, specialty foil. So there we are, getting all ready for my um, card swap that I'm doing. But look at the catalogs. Look at those beautiful accent of things that you can embellish for your cards easily. And get out into your stash, right? You must have a stash of all sorts of wonderful crafting things. Um, and pull those things out and spend a little time thinking about how you can use those and use them up. <laughs> oh, we do love our craft supplies, don't we? I hope you liked my card today. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked. Um, I'm going to gift uh, a little set of handmade cards to some anybody making some comments. You might, um, you might get some cards from me. That would be lovely. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy stampin'.